the emotions associated with infertility can just cause you to be crazy. It, would, it tears you down as a person as far as like, I'm not worthy. It was such like heartache. I had a hole in my heart. You have to take the time, I think, to grieve a change in your dreams. I did give up hope after seeing five different doctors. This is really a, a very vulnerable population. They're, they're desperate by the time they come to our door. First thing we try to do is to figure out why. What brings them to us? Why is it that they're having such a difficult time? And if we can fix it, it's in a good spot. In vitro fertilization has been a major success story in the field of medicine. It's an area that one, uh, not too many years ago, people thought was impossible, that it would never happen. And now it's evolved to the point that one in a hundred births in the United States are the, is the result of in vitro fertilization. Say hi, Mom. Oh, perfect timing. Good job. We've gotten better over the years. In many cases, we no longer need to transfer multiple embryos with in vitro fertilization. We can transfer a single embryo and achieve a high pregnancy rate and, and importantly, a safe pregnancy for that woman. It really is a miracle when you think about it that we can hold these embryos when they're only eight cells and then nine months later the patient will have a, a living child that will change their life forever. That looks great. The day I delivered was um, When I got to hold my son, it was the best feeling ever. I don't think we're playing God. We just help families become families. <laughs>